Hi there, this is Ross at Woodfire Power, and this is another update on the 4x16 aquaponics table. This is week 5, which means 5 weeks after planting starts, and 3 weeks, or excuse me, 2 weeks after putting the fish in. Since the fish got put in, things really took off. Of course, the plants were bigger. It's hard to gauge scale here, but from the top of the growing surface to the hoops, is about two feet so you can look down the length of the hoops all of the plants the lettuce and broccoli at the far end are up almost to, well they're about 18 inches tall um, foot and a half maybe 20 inches tall some of them <clears throat> first scale the wood from the bottom to top of the trough or the table is 15 and a quarter inches so here's the, um, let me turn this viewfinder around so I can get you back to create some scale. There's the plants. Um, they've just pretty much gone huge. And um, it's time to really seriously eat a lot. <laughs> um, the Napa cabbage is doing great. The broccoli is growing tall. I don't see any broccoli florets forming yet, but the plants are certainly up there and big. The beets are doing great. Uh, when I look inside I can see around and there are some about one inch diameter beets forming. And if you remember from last week, I just threw some more lettuce seed in this little patch of the table and sprinkled them around trying to put few enough so that they wouldn't be overly crowded. And it looks like it worked out pretty well, with the exception of over here. And too many of them sprout, but we'll just kind of grow those up and then harvest them as baby greens when they get a bit bigger. On the back side, I come around here, you can see the snow peas on this end of the table are doing great. Um, if you can see the uh, kind of caramel colored droplets on some of, well, on a number of the leaves, we've had a little bit of an aphid problem. So we're spraying molasses and I forget what the other thing was in the molasses. But anyway, the molasses is the caramel color um, because supposedly aphids don't like that. And hopefully we're getting rid of them, um, but they are still under there. The plants don't seem to mind though. I think the plants are getting so many nutrients that the aphids are just being fed and not harming the plants, which is interesting because the leaves where the aphids are don't show any evidence that there are aphids on them. So we are getting ready to get the covering for the greenhouse and everything is going great so I'm going to harvest another big bin of produce to take home today. There it is progress on the 4x16 aquaponics table five weeks after planting starts and two weeks after putting the fish in.